Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. We've got a lot of PSVR 2 news today. Also, a lot to cover some of the controversial topics, bit of Aliens VR, uh, some Behemoth, and a lot of different stuff. Before I start, a quick word from today's sponsor, VR Rock Prescription Lenses. PlayStation VR 2 prescription lenses are customized lenses for the PlayStation VR 2 headset to correct vision problems such as nearsightedness, farsightedness, presbyopia, astigmatism and amblyopia. We also provide anti-blue light lenses to protect eyesight for players with good eyesight. The advantage of VR Rock magnetic PSVR 2 prescription lenses design Installation process is quick and simple. Magnetic design allows users to switch between prescription and non-prescription lenses easily. Provides greater flexibility and convenience for users. You can contact customer service in the lower right corner on the website or email us at info at vrrock.com for assistance. Use code POLVR at the checkout to get yourself 10% discount. Okay, now let's go. Before we start, uh, I'm get it. I'm hitting you. You don't like the AI music to be in too much featured on the channel. I'm having fun doing it, so I still want to do it, but I ask you how. So from now on, at the end of the video, and for short, that's for uh, that's when it's gonna be as an optional part, let's say, of the channel. For those of you who want to watch, uh, I do because I like to do it. It makes me. Uh, you know, have a bit of fun, which makes me look, you know, make me make me happier to do the videos. And we need to laugh and smile, because otherwise everything is shit. Right, okay, so I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> I'm gonna kick, give you a kick in the balls first. Now don't blame me, I'm just the messenger, uh, so don't you dislike this video. It's not my fault, it's not me. I'm just passing it on. The one of the most requested PSVR 1 ports uh, is Hitman 3 VR, obviously it didn't happen. The brand new Hitman games got announced, which is Hitman 3 Reloaded. And this game got updated controls for motion controls and downgraded graphics for cell shaded graphics. And that is because it's coming exclusively to Quest. Now, the marketing really matters and it, it shows how it matters because well i don't know how meta is paying for that but uh, what the developer saying is we know that i'm gonna try to say it by the way uh, without laughing too much we know the hitman audience demanded the absolute best vr experience and only the meta quest 3 could power such large environments dense crowds and emergent sandbox gameplay and that's how good at marketing meta is you already got some uh, you know meta people let's say uh, saying that uh, they're really excited for this version because it's gonna be so much better than the uh, previous versions because of course controls psvr1 had dual shock it's been fine pc had motion controls but the same people who loving it now uh, the you know shaded graphic ones uh, version that it's the same people who moan on PC controls being the two game with uh, controls not being properly implemented basically trying to kill it straight away when it's released as it's happening now with PSVR 2 on PC and as it happens with PSVR 2 when it's released so it's really fucking fucking me off but anyway that's what's happening uh, of course PSVR 2 got more power and it's got more features you got your haptic feedback which is amazing You've got eye tracking with foveated rendering, which would easily run this game. And of course, you've got headset feedback as well. You've got just so much, plus finger touch detection. So, a lot. So, what this tells me, because this game is an exclusive on Quest 3, is that there's a deal in place between probably developer and meta, and Hitman gonna be exclusive now to Quest. That's why we're not getting upgrade on PC. Uh, and well, PSVR 2. 
Speaking about PC, I'm gonna play it on PC on my PSVR 2 and uh, I don't know, my do the comparison of graphics for Quest 3 and PSVR 1 because you know PSVR 1 still will look better. Anyway, <laughs> I need to come down here. See, that's why I like to do my uh, songs here. We need to laugh and have fun. So let's have some fun. Let's move on to the another story. Just don't dislike this video. I just passing on the message here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do something else. Something else before I lose my shit. Okay, here we are on X, a quick note on Alien Rogue Inclusion. Uh, lately we've had the trailer, now the developer posted some more screenshots from the game. You know, it's only screenshot, but it's still worth getting excited about. Uh, environments looking great, very dark and as you want them to be, of course. Can you spot the alien in those pictures? Uh, the alien, the xenomorph, I can't see it anywhere, but it is there probably somewhere trying to kill you. Uh, so yeah, of course, that's only for screenshots here, uh, but it shows Unreal Engine 5 graphics perfectly. Uh, I don't know what uh, they capture does here, probably on the PC, but yeah, just like the trailer, this is looking very nice. And now it's time to talk about Invincible, a game that had a very long development, <laughs> let's say. So original plans was to release it a few years ago and also after the release to port it to PSVR 2 if possible, uh, to PSVR 1 if possible. Of course the times have been progressing, the game been getting delays, eventually PSVR 2 uh, released, uh, eventually the game released to everyone's uh, liking it because it's pretty cool game uh, and the developer just been talking on Twitter uh, to the people and basically what they saying is the PSVR 2 version or let's say VR version, it's still not of the cards because uh, they still might do it, but it is nothing to set in stone. So maybe I previously reported that it will happen. Uh, apparently it's not set in stone yet, so just want to pass it on, but it might happen. I retweeted it on my uh, Twitter account, so you know, so the developer can see. There's already plenty of interest in the game, uh, so keep Keep, keep that in mind uh, on the post. So uh, we might just be getting it hopefully eventually. We need those types of games as well, especially the ones that look so pretty. Okay, here in the background is playing the trailer for the game called Death Reliefs. And in this game, you're becoming a teenager who wants to uh, escape an Aztec god. This good design is awesome. Uh, they decided to only release trailer on Twitter. That's why the compression is a bit bigger here. Uh, so what's happening is this game was going to release on PS VR, on PS5 exclusively. It's, it's, I don't know, it's strange. Anyway, but it's coming to PS4 now. <laughs> but also the developer saying after it releases on PS4 and PS5 and PS VR one out of all things, then it will come to PS VR two. And I must say, if they if they rendering graphics like that on PS VR one, uh, that's pretty awesome. So yeah. I mean, look at that. That's gonna be beautiful to see in VR. Uh, wow, great animations as well. Uh, so yeah, it's a survival horror game. Uh, that looks really, really good. Uh, really looking forward to it. Um, we see. Gets me intrigued. So that's that. And we need to talk about Behemoth. There was plenty of videos today. Tons of YouTubers got invited. I'm not sadly one of the cool kids, so sad times, but fuck it. We've got some good info. So Behemoth will cost $39.99. It is a linear world, but wide. So there's different paths. Uh, I like linear, so I'm all for it. Uh, but of course, it's done in a very cool way. I assume like kind of maybe Last of Us and stuff like that. You can climb the big behemoths, uh, that was uh, that good to hear. The combat is great apparently, it feels good, you've got your usual VR combat, but also you can become like this superhuman for a moment, makes you feel awesome, it's got minimal crafting, so uh, just like a maybe health upgrades and all that. The developer saying on average it will take 10 to 12 hours to complete. It's got four main story chapters with three acts and at the end of each act you face in a behemoth, which is sounding great. This game is awesome and I cannot wait. What the fuck, what the fucking fuck is going on? First Astro Bot and now this? Holy shit. Holy shit. Sorry, please make it stop. Don't do it to us anymore. La di la la it fucking hurts. People wanted Hitman 3VR to be ported to PS. 
PSVR2, PC Elite wanted updated controls. So the developer said this kind of game is only possible on Quest. Three, no dreams, no Astrobot, and now no Hitman for PSVR2. Me, 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 me. On other note, new screenshots from Alien, Road Incursion, looking good, good, good. Oh. The Invincible, me, 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 la, 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 la. Mm -hmm. It's a very good flat game, and the VR model is still not off the cards. It might happen. Death Relieves takes you to an Aztec lens, which is cool. And to end epic new details of a vein of revives that this game is hot as fuck. Hot as fuck, hot as fuck, hot as fuck. Hot as fuck. Hot as fuck. Hot as fuck. Hot as fuck.